Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a caselet. It says that there are nine dumbbells. Their weights are 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on till 45 kg. All multiples of 5. Kept in a 3 by 3 dumbbell rack. So it has three columns A, B, C, and three rows 1, 2, 3. This information is given. The average weight of the dumbbells kept in one of the rows is 30 kg. The weight of the dumbbells kept in C3 minus C2 is 20 kg. So this difference is 20 kg. This is the higher value. This is the lower value. The total weight of the dumbbells kept in column C is 70 kg. So column C total 70. The weights of the dumbbells kept in column A are multiples of 10 kg. So these are multiples of 10. The dumbbells weighing 10 kg and 40 kg are not kept in the same row. The total weight of the dumbbells kept in row 1 is 85 kg. So this total is 85. The dumbbell weighing 35 kg is kept in column B. Okay, So this is the information that is given to us. Based on it, we need to find out which dumbbell is kept in which place. Now let's start with this thing where it says that dumbbells of uh, in column A are multiples of 10. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40. These are the four multiples and three of them will be used here. One will be an odd one out. Okay. Now let us see this. These two have a difference of 20. So difference of 20 means either both numbers should end in 0. Okay. So if both numbers end in 0, then the difference will be 20. Or both numbers should end in 5. Then also the difference can be 20. Now, three multiples of 10 are used here. Suppose 1, 10, 20, 30 is, or any three numbers. Right? We cannot have two multiples of 10 being used in these two places. So that means the two numbers should end in 5. Okay. Now, what are those two numbers that can end in 5? So we can have 25 and 5. We can have 35 and 15. We can have 25 and 45. So these are the possibilities. Okay. Now, if you see this, one thing is given that 35 kg is kept in column B. So, it cannot be 35 and 15. Next, 45 and 25, if we use 45 and 25, the total becomes 70. Then this will end up in 0, which is not possible. So, we have 5 and 25. So, these two values are 25 and 5 kg. So, this is done. Now, this is 30. So, 30 plus 40 makes it 70. Okay, so uh, 70 is done. Now, we are given that the dumbbells weighing 10 kg and 40 kg are not kept in the same row. So, we cannot have 10 here. So, we can have 20 or 30. Okay, and then subsequently others. Now, if you put 20 here, 20, 20, 40, 60. If we take 20, 40. So, it should be 25 to make it 85. 25 is already used here. So we cannot have 25. So we shall have 30 here. 30, 40, 70 and 15 kgs. Okay. So that's how we fill it. Now we have, uh, we are left with 10, 20 and uh, a few more. 40 is gone. 30 and 15 are also gone. Now, one of the pieces of information, the first point, it says the average weight of the dumbbells kept in one of the rows is 30 kg. So, average is 30, that means total is 90. Now, can we make a total of 90 in this row? This is 5. So, can we have 85 using two numbers? 40 and 45 cannot be used because 40 is already used. So, this cannot be total as 90. So, this total should be 90. Now, total is 90. That means we need 65 in these two. Uh, boxes. 65, how can we make? We can make 45 and 20. That is the only way to make 65. So this will be 45 and this will be 20. So this is done. 45, 20. Then we are left with two more weights that is 10 and 35. So this will be 35 and this is going to be 10 kgs. So this is how we complete the matrix of putting all the nine values. Now let us answer the questions based on it. What is the weight of the dumbbells kept in C2? Okay, so uh, C2 we have 5 kg. What is the total weight of the dumbbells kept in column B? 
सो कॉलम बी दिस इज फिफ्टी प्लस फोर्टी फाइव नाइनटी फाइव के जी इन विच रैक इज दर्टी फाइव के जी डम्बल केप्ट सो थर्टी फाइव के जी डम्बल इज केप्ट इन बी टू वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द वेट ऑफ द डम्बल्स केप्ट इन ए वन एंड बी वन सो ए वन इज थर्टी एंड बी वन इज फिफ्टीन के जी सो द डिफरेंस इज फिफ्टीन के जी सो दिस वॉज अ the solution to the set and the answers to the questions